Hi. So yesterday I made this video about autopoiesis, and today I want to talk about a related concept called Umwelt. Maximus talks about biology and other stuff. <laughs> So, the word Umwelt uh, comes from, from this, this German biologist. Uh, hold on, I have to look this up so that I can, I can say it properly. Right, so there was this German biologist named Jakob von Uexkull, and he looked like this. <laughs> maybe, maybe one day I, uh, I can have a mustache like his, you think so, maybe? Jakob von Uexkull came up with this idea called Umwelt. And Umwelt is very, very important. So here, here's what Umwelt means. Umwelt is, is the idea that every creature, every living being, lives in its own reality. Okay, so the idea of its own reality is that there's, there's a world of, of salient information. Salient meaning, like, important, right? So, so there's a world of important information, and then there's, like, this infinite world of data. Chaotic shit happening everywhere. And then there's these life forms, and from some of those chaotic things, those life forms are getting the information they need to survive. Think about my Umwelt, right? So, so I'm a human, so like I, I'm very aware of words and, and, and symbols and things like that, and that's most of my reality is, is symbol-based. But like if you think about the Umwelt of like a dog, right, the, the kind of information that, that a dog finds salient is going to be different than the kind of information that a human finds salient. And dogs and humans are actually pretty similar, but when you go further down the tree of life, you see it's even more extreme. Story time. There's this story about uh, a squirrel and a tree. There's a squirrel and it's scampering up the tree and it's getting the nuts and it's doing all these squirrely things. And meanwhile, the tree is, is, is doing its tree things. You know, it's growing and absorbing sunlight and it's got all these leaves. For both the squirrel and the tree, the, the sunlight bears information. But the information that the tree gets from the sunlight is very different from the information that the squirrel gets from the sunlight. The squirrel, you know, has these photons going into its eyes and they, they reflect all these different colors and all these things. The squirrel has like a very object-oriented kind of information derived from that sunlight. But the tree gets a whole sorts of different kind of information about the sunlight because, you know, the, the tree doesn't have eyes, but it's very sensitive to light because that's what it needs to live. So the tree experiences the sunlight in a very different way than the squirrel does, but it's still responding to it, you know, it might tilt its leaves towards the light and things like that. The tree and the squirrel are getting the same data from the sunlight, but they derive different information from it. The idea of, of Umwelt is that every creature lives in its own reality based on what kind of information it's going to find salient to survive. So like a bacteria's Umwelt is, is all a bacteria can do is smell, basically. They sense the environment, but what they do is they look for sugar gradients. They sense toxins and they sense where sugar is. They're very, very sensitive to all the different molecules in their environment, but that's it, right? And so we're sensitive to molecules about in our environment, we typically call it smell. But like, think about what that would be if your entire world, 100% of your reality was smell, you know? Like, that's that's crazy. I mean, it's really, really remarkable to think about. And that's how bacteria live. And, and so they're aware, you know, but they're not conscious. But there is a, a self-awareness that, that happens. Related transition. This is how this idea ties into autopoiesis, which I was talking about yesterday. What autopoiesis does is it gives us a locus for, for Umwelt to exist. Any autopoetic system, a system that is, you know, looping the way, you know, this thing that all that autopoiesis does, any autopoetic system that has that is also going to have an Umwelt, because it's going to be responding to its environment and using things from its environment to maintain its own integrity. So. Autopoiesis and Umwelt are, are these two very linked concepts because one implies the other. That's a way to talk about selfhood and, and awareness for the entire spectrum of the Tree of Life. We get so, so human-centered when we talk about awareness and consciousness because we have like such a symboly kind of consciousness, but like there's all these different other kinds of awarenesses and subjectivities and we're only just beginning to develop a language to talk about them. So two words to, to, in this language that are very important are autopoiesis and umwelt. Yeah. The end! And remember that everything and nothing are actually the same thing. The end. Yeah. Yeah. Whoosh.